What's up everybody? This is Jay from Volunteer Garage with my buddy Spencer here. Woo! We are actually working on his wife's, what year is this, Honda? This is a 99 Honda Accord EX two-door V6. VTEC um, 3.0. Yeah. VTOC. <laughs> I think that's what you call it. VTOC. VTAC. All I know is when it hits VTEC, it goes back to the future. You got to be careful. Anyways, but uh, we're going to put a radiator fan on today. It's right here. Also, as normal, um, by our unofficial sponsor, Amazon. That's where we get everything. Amazon and eBay. If you don't get it off there, you're getting your supplies way overpriced and probably from the wrong source. And probably made in America, not That's China. Right. That's right. We get it from China because they're closest to Japan. And uh, <laughs> J Japanese cars, JDM. This is CDM right here. That's what kind of parts we're putting on it. That's right. China domestic motors. Make yeah. it last. But uh, we're also going to probably put some headlights in it. Cause oh, yeah. We'll put some new bulbs in there. We might even uh, have some stuff to polish those. Uh -oh. We might make them good or two. <laughs> yeah, we'll do the toothpaste challenge again. <laughs> this is <clears throat> seriously yellow, so it might. It might uh, oh, I got some stuff that might make sheep. in there good or right there, boy. Sheep. But yeah, we, we would like to apologize <sighs> that our, uh, our friend with Perm Head Racing, Stephen, won't be here today. He had a BBD, bigger, better deal situation come up. Whatever that is, we don't know in this situation, but uh, he couldn't make it today. So we'll be praying for him and whatever he's dealing with. In the meantime, we'll be getting work done while he's not going to be getting work done. So we would like to apologize for that ahead of time. But uh, just to let y'all know, Permhead Racing is not going to be here in the building today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we we'll had to edit that out. Anyway, so you have have this uh, here um, axe handle, sledgehammer handle. It's great for these kind of things, but basically these shocks get bad over time. And only the people that work on these cars are going to ever care about how good these shocks are. <laughs> so we've got this here that happened to be at the Ball Garage headquarters here. And that will keep us from getting our heads crushed underneath the weight of this hood. Yeah, you don't want to know how we just found out before we put that in there. <laughs> but anyway, let's get started. All right, we're going to push this right here. It's going to hold your cruise control cable so you can do stunts while you're going down the road. Stunt. Without using your feet. And we're going to... Get this hose out of the way right here. We'll just leave it attached. We'll just pop that out of the way. You know, it's that Kool Aid in there. <laughs> Ask Jim Jones if you know about Jim. And then there's this. Oh, well, I'll just push that out of the way then. There's a little clip. I don't know if you can see that, but that little clip holds on there. You're not going to do anything but push it down. You can use your finger if you like that. That'll get it up out of the way. I like a boy in seventh grade. Push it down. <laughs> That's right. And then get it out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Use the desk if you have to. <laughs> and then you just you you push this one down as well. And then it opens that up. And then you're ready to move on to big boy tools. And or short tools. If you want a bigger one, I I got a half inch. I mean <clears throat> we can go all the way to an inch if you need to. You know? Oh. <laughs> We'll unbolt it like so. Should just be two bolts on the top. In there. Get in there, boy. We'll just put those right here so we can lose them. And, Lord willing, that nugget should just pull right up out the top here. Or not. It's wanting to be a little bugger, isn't it? A little rock pasta. <clears throat> Told you you should have got the JDM one. <laughs> oh, don't tell me I gotta pull both of them out of the way. Get down this right here, ball. More than one way to skin a squirrel, Spencer. <laughs> I'm really not wanting to pull anything else out of the way. Just pull that overflow tank out. We'll just start taking the whole car parts, not mine. Yeah. Oh, man. Five bucks. <laughs> and an ambulance <laughs> and I'll even give you a ride to the to Mercy the hospital Green. yeah I think that battery yeah I'm getting caught ever so gingerly right down that nugget it is what it is there boy been that turd out of the wire in there <laughs> boy I'm gonna show you how to do that boy get it get it skeet him skeet it out of there skeet it Skeet it out there. 
Yeah, I'll hold that out your way. I have a feeling there's a right way and the wrong way. If we have right. to, we'll pull that battery out. All it takes is two screws. Yeah, we probably should. You want to pull that battery out? Battery. Because it is hooking on that and it probably slides right out. That's what she it. said. You want two Phillips screws for those? They might come right off. Oh. Let's see. Nope. That's pro. These are pro, by the way. Pro mod. Pro screws. Pro tension screws is what they call them. Aren't those? Didn't you order those from Japan? Those screws? Yes. Those Phillips screws on top of the battery cable? Mm -hmm. Yeah, those came straight from Japan. My pro tip is to always let your wife's car be worked on by someone else. Well, here we are working on it. So now it's still <laughs> going to be my fault. <clears throat> No matter what happens, it's still going to be my fault. You oh, yeah, look at that. Like, like a glove. Like butter. <clears throat> yes, like butter. Like hot butter. <laughs> Cannot believe it is not butter. I got a pair of pliers for that. We got a problem. What happened? My hands are Oh, dude, dirty. you're dirty and whoa. I'm not. Whoa, whoa. All right. All right, we got to pull that little clip doodad hickey out that holds the. Uh, fan the electric part of the fan where the where they meet together there the male and the female connector mercy we'll get this turd out of the way mercy that's what you do with junk out of here <laughs> what seems to be the major malfunction Oops. looks like the hole's a little bit too yeah. drilled out i got yeah. some glue for that or we can take it off that thing with a zip tie yeah that'd probably be the easiest we got zip tie all day long <laughs> Today also, while we're working on uh, the Honda, we like to thank our unofficial sponsor here, Zip Tie Nuts and Bolts here. You can turn them into a nut. You can turn it into a bolt. You can use it to zip tie or hold anything. Right. Put that in there. I can glue it in. You got never... That would probably be easier than a zip tie. Probably better in this case. What do you want to do? Glue it? Let's just glue that turd. Because we can do whatever mm. we like. All right. We got the J or a panel bond, not JB Weld. This stuff's better than Debbie Weld. We're actually going to take this and smear it right there. Let's see if I can get some better light on that thing too. Get some light for you. Oh, look at that. Yeah, blue light. All right. We'll smear that on right there. That will hold it. Alrighty then, ladies and gentlemen, we got that thing panel bonded on. It's not fully cured. Of course, 24 hours is what I like to do, but we don't have 24 hours on this. His no. wife needs to go somewhere. She needs to talk to people. She needs to get out. She needs to shop till she drops. Yeah, she needs to spend. Till her bank account pops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she needs to spend something. So. Spend it till you got it, Wolf. We'll let that sit in in the R and cure, but we'll get it plugged up and it shouldn't go anywhere anyway. Yeah, use your magical eBay light. And like we said, and like we're off camera, I told Jay here that if the camera <clears> wasn't watching, then by all means, I would have just glued that on there with super glue or zip tied it or tape taped it to be honest is probably exactly what i would have done so let's we'll take that that one hold it with both hands yeah let me just put a screw in there first oh yeah start it with a screw, in screw it in there you ever screwed yeah, over here i had actually you had them this time not right. me I did try so i'm not trying to sabotage you just yet you want to change out those headlight yeah, bulbs? We'll do that bulb. Bulbs. But bulbs first. So which ones are you replacing? The low beams. The low beams. The Put outer on one. Put it on the low. Put it on. <laughs> <laughs> What's the uh, the Drake dance? What do you call that thing? Oh yeah. They used to call me on my cell phone. What are those nine thousand sixes? Oh man, Jay, you know your light bulb. Yes, sir, 9006. Is that not good? I'm just awesome sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes. All the time. Oh, these are the blue Sylvanias. I think those are some cheap ones. Oh, really? They're Sylvanias. Are they really? Yeah, that's what I used to ride in my truck a long time ago. Maybe I'm doing better than I thought. The key is not to touch that. And you know how hard that is? It's completely, almost impossible sometimes. I think that's sometimes a myth because I've touched them before and they work fine. It's, it's true. I've always heard that they just don't last as long. I've heard, heard, smurred. All the bulbs nowadays are junk anyway. No matter what you got in. <coughs> Everything's junk. You sure they just the cheaper the better. I only pay five dollar. Five dollar for this. This one must be thicker. No, I, I got a, I got something to sand it with. I ain't scared. 
We'll get that in there. It's just hella bad, isn't it? Which is very possible, too. Is that the hotline bling? Every time I put the headlights bling. Bling, 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 bling in off these signs, man. <laughs> I can't even see it because these signs, man. All these reflections, they be blinding, man. <laughs> Woo! See, me, I want to change it and jokingly be like, Ever since I saw them titties, ooh! <laughs> All them titties <laughs> making me just go, ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Her headlights be blinding you. Blinding you. <laughs> in R? In R, boy. All right, he's got this side in our bulb wise, and we're gonna put the passenger side in there. We might even buff these headlights because I got some buffing stuff to buff your buff to make it all nice and fancy. Fancy. I am so fancy. I'll um, be nice. Your wife's a good woman. I'll make her happy She's by buffing her headlights. Little woman. All right, there we go. Lights in. Camera action. Swap your stick over there. Your yeah, wood. Somebody's getting hit with that before the night's up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just a little double check. Make sure. Didn't totally forget something. I am plugged in. That's number one. All that stuff didn't screw with it. That's probably be the next thing we change out. Your condenser fan? Yeah. If we still have any issues. If, you, we'll if your air conditioner's not working? No, it's still working all right. Well, then you're For good. For 279 or sorry, 69,000 miles. Oh, added miles just sitting here. <laughs> yeah, I, I got 10,000 miles just sitting here. <laughs> I'll hold your speed or your uh, cruise control cable out your way. Oh, yeah, I love cruise control. Yes, I know another guy that likes to use it when he's going on windy roads. <laughs> do that. Upside down, other way. Oh, there man. you go. See, what would I do if you weren't here? Get this here battery bolted back down. I don't know why he's wasting time putting that battery hold down on it. I just use a a, a extension cord or something. A ratchet strap and a bungee. Bungee does it all the dang time, boy. I've never understood the whole bungee process because I don't the either. bungee obviously stretches. And yeah, it's and the weight of the battery. Yeah. I've never understood that either. The weight of the battery is going to outdo the uh, bungee cord. I, but there's no, I mean, I couldn't tell you when, when we worked in that shop together, how many cars come in, would come in there with that on there. You're right. Yeah. But the battery's in. We're going to put the coolant overflow jug back in. Actually, we aren't. Spencer is. Uh, I got to earn my keep. There's just a little slot. Right yeah, there's there. a little slot. It hooks right in there. You can see it. Oh, I don't know if you can see it, but a little metal slot just slides right in. Very easy kindergarten stuff. Or else I wouldn't be able to do it. Me neither. There we go. I mean, folks, this isn't rebuilding an engine here. Very easy for you do-it-yourselfers if you want to try to put a fan in one of these. I mean, super, super, super easy if you're watching this. I mean, and here's what I would tell you to do. Get, if it's your girlfriend, if you're not married, you don't have a joint account, tell her you'll get it fixed, they'll take care of it. <coughs> they'll take you to the shop, get it done, then you can go do this right here. This is your buddy's house. Or call the wall garage, whatever you're gonna do. And boom, you're the hero. You're the hero. But the fan's replaced. Working. Kick, turn the uh, AC on, you'll have both fans kicked on and you can check them, make sure they're all gooder. And this one, in this case, is gooder. So now, you wanna buff some headlights? Let's do it, let's do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, men, women, perm head racing. We got your, uh, well, we got one headlight done. This is just a quick job. A lot nicer than what it was. Right. Now look at, look how dirty it is. This is, this is what the before and that's the after what they look like. Right. Old yeller. So, uh, old yeller, the crystal oh, clear. Old yeller, the crystal clear. And it's hard to tell on the camera how yellow that is, but it's, it is honestly shades different from left to right here. <coughs> honestly different. So. And what I'm doing really is just taking some 1200 grit sandpaper, mixing it with some water with just a smidge bit of um, Dawn dishwashing detergent in that, make it slick, 
And I'll just go over the head like this, kind of damp, and we'll just do a little swirl marks here and get the yellow off. I just go over it really lightly. I don't go over it really heavy. I'm just basically the sandpaper's. I'm just scooping the sandpaper along. I'm not pushing down on it, not bearing on it at all. We are just going across. The headlight getting all. You can see all the old yellow coming off. That's just dirt and debris that's been basically impregnated into the plastic over time. And yeah, you can get some new lights and it'd be even clearer than this. But at the end of the day, if you got a high mileage car like this, you really have no business spending your money <laughs> on a brand new set of headlights, even if they're cheap off of our unofficial sponsors, eBay or Amazon. You really just can do this right here, do it even once a year, twice a year, whatever it takes until you cannot visibly see through these lights and you're going to be bucks ahead. Put that money into an oil change in one of these old cars. You know, something simple like that. Keep it on the road. Like I said, it's got 269,000 miles on it. Um, it's had all the time about stuff done for the second time. But uh, regardless, we're planning on running this car until it gets about 300,000 miles on it. At least to get our money out of the, the second time about that we did here recently. But uh, these cars are really pretty reliable. The worst thing about these specific gear models is the transmissions. Um, in the V6s in particular. Have they ever they be able to replace the one in this one? Um, this one had, it's on its third rebuild. Wow. Your original one, the second time it's been rebuilt, and third time I think they did something to it. But regardless, the key to these cars is having a good transmission. Um, so supposedly there was a bearing that goes bad inside of them. Bad and, in the uh, filters. Correct. The filters get clogged up, which you, these are non-serviceable either. Nope. You so drain and fill. Drain and fill, back oh, flush yeah. if you can. Um, but uh, that's the one negative to these cars. And this one does have a little um, flare up from first to second when it's cold in the mornings. Otherwise, it does pretty decent for an old car. So we're going to limp her along until we can't limp it no more. And what I'm installing when I'm walking on this car with an old sock of mine. That's right. Is some... Uh, 3M rubbing compound stuff I have. I use this on everything. Good stuff. But just take it and we can rub it off. Look at that right there. Makes it clean. Buffs out all the scratches. But I also go over it the next round with some polish just to finish it off there. That's right. Every time I come to Jay's, it makes my car bling. <laughs> Making all them headlights bling, bling, bling. This is some Meguiar's actually plastic. This is really a buffing compound and a polished mix, but I always use a rubbing compound anyway. And I'll go on. I know Jay was laughing when he said about the socks there. Um, it may sound funny or bad, but the best rags you can buy are not buying them at all. Your old underwear, if you're a boxer brief guy or a whitey tidy guy, I'm a boxer brief guy just to be honest. Oh. And, uh, yeah, just a little bit, a tidbit of too much information. And your old socks, your old holy socks, they're perfect for rags. They'll soak up oil. They're great to throw in somebody's face when they think you, <laughs> you're, especially like underwear. You get, get a pair of that old underwear that's oil stained and you just have it right. sitting in your shed or in your garage or vol garage. And you throw that in somebody's face, they are thinking they're getting some uh, brown in their face. So. It, yeah, that's butt hurt material. Yes, it makes for great jokes, but regardless, it's cheap way. We're all about doing things cheap way, not necessarily always the right thing to do, but we will show you the cheap way to do it and keep your car on the road here. But look how clean that is. Another tidbit on your headlights, and they get like that. Maybe once a month, maybe other, maybe once every other month, just run some wax over them, mm -hmm. wax them. Now that that protects them. That's true. I've even seen them clear coated before. Yes, I've seen, I've that. seen that too. Look at that. But there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Some clean headlights, a new uh, radiator fan, and some new low beam 9006 yeah. bolts. That's Today right. On Volunteer Garage. And again, we'd like to thank our unofficial sponsors, eBay and Amazon. They give us no financial compensation, unfortunately, but that's because we're unofficial. One day, maybe officially. But uh, you can score some cheap deals off there, and you can get screwed. So you got to be careful out there. But uh, uh, you got NR Engineering. Yep. 
and used to be perm head racing but not to, not on this episode not on this episode they're unsponsored right unsponsored now unsponsored on this episode but there you have it ladies and gentlemen ta-da